Well, I hope you've had a good discussion about the environmental crisis and its impact. In this second part of the course, we'll discuss COVID-19 and the environment, both how environmental factors have played a role in the pandemic and how the pandemic has impacted the environment. There's evidence that the same human activities that are contributing to climate change are also contributing to the emergence of new diseases, such as COVID-19, and also to their spread and their effect. According to Daniel Brooks, author of the Stockholm Paradigm, Climate Change and Emerging Disease, we live in a world in which human population expansion and increased density and increased globalization of travel and trade act synergistically with climate change to produce an explosive emerging disease crisis that represents an existential threat to technological humanity. Brooks believes that the planet is a minefield of pathogens with the potential to infect susceptible hosts, needing only the opportunity for contact. Climate change has always been the major catalyst for such opportunities because it disrupts the local ecosystem structure and allows pathogens and hosts to move, according to Brooks. Once pathogens infect new hosts, novel variants may emerge, each with new infection capacities. Now that's the theory, and there's evidence to support it. According to Michael Petroni and his colleagues in the journal Environmental Research Letters, exposure to hazardous air pollutants contributes to COVID-19 mortality in the United States. Petroni found that an increase in the respiratory hazard index, which measures air pollutants, is associated with a 9% increase in COVID-19 mortality. In a recent lit literature review in the journal Science and the Total Environment, notes several studies that show a significant correlation between climate indicators such as temperature, humidity, wind speed, rainfall, and COVID-19 transmissions and fatality. Okay, so climate change, pollution, and other environmental changes have probably contributed to COVID-19 and exacerbated its effects. What about COVID-19's effect on the environment? Well, at first it seemed as if COVID-19 would actually have a positive effect on the environment. The natural world began to recover from human influence in the first few weeks after the pandemic was declared as whole countries went into lockdown. People, at least those who were able to, stayed home. There were fewer cars on the streets, fewer planes in the air, and industrial production decreased. Noise pollution also decreased. Videos of wild animals roaming the streets of deserted cities went viral. Travel in the United States dropped 96% in April, the TSA estimates. Car trips also plummeted, according to P.M. Forster and his co-authors in the journal Nature Climate Change. Global greenhouse gas emissions fell 10 to 30 percent in April, mostly due to reduced driving. Some environmentalists called this the anthropause. However, as countries emerged from lockdown, GHG emissions began to rise again and the wild animals retreated from the city streets. In China, which locked down earlier and started off earlier than other countries, air pollution levels are already at their pre-COVID levels. And even though vehicular and, and air traffic, as well as industrial activity, reduced sharply in most parts of the world, this was not the case with electricity. 64% of the global electricity energy mix comes from fossil fuels. According to the World Energy Outlook 2019, 
and electricity use actually increased during COVID. It was probably air conditioning, all of those Zoom meetings, Netflix binges, and DoorDash orders using up a lot of electricity. COVID-19 is having some decidedly negative effects on the environment. Deforestation in the Amazon basin and poaching in Africa increased during the pandemic. Closer to home, recycling initiatives such as restricting the use of plastic bags and single-use beverages containers were canceled to help stop the spread of COVID-19. The increase in takeout orders and online deliveries has added immensely to the amount of cardboard we produce, use, and discard. To sum up, there is evidence that environmental factors have contributed to the spread and severity of COVID-19. As for COVID-19's effect on the environment, there was a short positive effect, but overall, the effect has been negative. Let's break now for discussion and then return with the final part of today's session, where we'll discuss the post-COVID-19 environment.